The Miami Dolphins still are going to have a lot of work to do to get reshaped their roster this offseason with their salary cap constraints, but they did get some good news in that department Monday, NFL teams were informed Monday, per multiple reports, that the salary cap for 2023 will be set at $224.8 million per team. The figure will set a new cap record, topping the previous mark of $208.2 million in 2022, the higher salary cap, of course, coincides with increased revenue generated by the NFL. Including the 17th regular season game, a couple of weeks after their playoff loss against the Buffalo Bills, the Dolphins have 44 players under contract for 2023 with a combined cap number of more than $240 million, according to Over the Cap. This means the Dolphins already are over the cap, though they don't have to be in compliance until the start of the league year, which in 2023 will be March 15th, by 4 p.m. Eastern Time that day, every NFL team will need to be at or under the 2023 cap with the top. 51 Rule Which will be in effect until the start of the regular season, under that rule, only the top 51 players, by cap numbers, are calculated for salary cap compliance purposes, as of Monday, the Dolphins currently have five players with a 2023 cap number exceeding $15 million, per over the cap. Tyreek Hill at $31.5 million, Bradley Chubb at $22.2 million, Taron Armstead at $21.1 million, Byron Jones at $18.4 million and Emmanuel Ogba at $17.2 million, the Dolphins' current salary cap picture does. Not includes the 30 players scheduled to become free agents March 15 including restricted free agents Salvon Ahmed and John Lovett, and exclusive rights free agent Elijah Campbell. To become cap-compliant, the Dolphins obviously are going to have to make several moves, whether they be releasing some veterans, restructuring contracts and signing others to extensions to reduce their 2023 cap number. The one issue with restructuring contracts is that it simply moves the cap obligations further down the road. Among the players who could end up being cap casualties are tight end Seathan Carter whose release would save $2.3 million against the cap, and cornerback Keon. Crossan, $3. 2 million. Defensive tackle Christian Wilkins is scheduled to make $10.7 million on the fifth-year option of his rookie contract, and an extension could lower his 2023 cap number. There could be others in line for an extension, with the dual purpose of keeping the player and lowering his 2023 cap number, like perhaps fullback Alec Ingold and defensive lineman Zach Sealer, cornerback Byron Jones very well might be released to create cap space, but that move would clear only $3.5 million if done before June 1 as opposed to $13. 6 million with a post-June 1 designation, though the cap savings with the latter wouldn't apply until that date.